combination, Martin Bacon, an eco-engineer and an inventor, led a British team that now holds the record for the world's fastest coffee-powered car. The team didn't have very much competition, only the first car they made, the Coffee Car Mark I, which was a hacked version of a Volkswagen Sirocco. It runs on gasification, a century-old technology that converts carbon-containing substances into energy. In the back of the car is a charcoal stove that is powered by pellets made of compressed coffee grounds. The heat from the stove causes the material to release hydrogen, which is rooted through a cooling system and a filter that blocks out tar. The gas eventually winds up powering pistons to move the car forward a significant distance. In 2010, the car moved from Manchester to London, a distance of about 200 miles. So the team proved that coffee power could move far, but could it move fast? That's where the coffee car Mark II came in, made from the chassis of a Ford pickup. Let's look at some of their record-setting video. So the coffee car does not look like a regular car. On the back has something that looks like a moonshine still, but that's the charcoal stove. And when it's starting up, it smokes like a chimney, and I'm assuming that does not smell like delicious fresh brewed coffee at all. But it did do what the inventors asked of it to do, which was to go 65 miles per hour only on coffee, and that is the new record. The vehicle is said to travel 55 miles on a 22 pound bag of coffee grounds. As to why they're doing this, they say, the reason behind doing a land speed record is to show how the old gasification technology renowned in its day for being rather slow, although very useful in wartime Europe, can with modern engineering become something quite capable. So it's not quite a DeLorean time machine powered by banana peels and garbage, but it's a pretty good use of coffee grounds which besides composting are fairly useless. So would you take the time to build a car that is powered by coffee and reek of coffee grounds all day? Let me know in the comments.